Whoa, what is, what is this? Actual recording. Actual episodes of Let's Play 2. Hello, I am, I am 2K. I'm here with Swarly. Hello, Swarly. Am I here? Yeah, we're doing this. Okay. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a hot minute, as the kids say. I don't think the kids say that. The kids said it when I was a kid. Therefore, the kids always say it. <laughs> so we're we're back to booking uh, WWE mm -hmm. brand split. We're gonna book run Monday Night Raw, not Monday Night Maw. <laughs> we are we are uh, behind now. Yeah, we when we left, I think we were still slightly ahead. Yeah, we had just finished Hell in a Cell, and the real Hell in a Cell hadn't happened yet. Which I I like to think that ours was better than the real one. Not gonna lie. Yeah, probably. But uh, we got a book towards Survivor Series, which, huh, I mean, what, do we have a tall bar to get over to be better than that? Yeah. Well, well uh, lucky for you all, uh, we are here to announce that we signed Brock, Le uh, signed Bill Goldberg, and uh, he's gonna show up, and uh, it's gonna be real great. Absolutely. I do plan on just having uh, Roman Reigns do the spear and then jackhammer and win in three minutes. That's, uh, I don't want to give away too much of my booking, <laughs> but that's exactly what's going to happen there. So, I want to let you guys know we're going to, uh, we're, we're going to start Raw with an angle. What? I know. And it's going to be a modern TV angle with two of the most entertaining people of our time. People you haven't heard much from. People who, when they get a microphone... Good things are bound to happen. One I, I'm being slightly less facetious about is Paul Heyman. The other is Roman Reigns. Woof woof. You gotta start with the big dog. And they're gonna talk for 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Reigns is gonna come out and demand Lesnar. Uh, and Paul, Paul Heyman is... He doesn't say no, but he says that Look, we're not going to do it. We're not just going to do it on a whim. If you're going to fight Brock Lesnar, we're going to make it a big match. And he, he just reads directly from from Brock's contract. Like, look, it says right here he doesn't have to wrestle on Raw. So yeah. he's like, we're not going to do that. He's not going to wrestle you at Raw. He's not going to wrestle you at Survivor Series. He's not going to wrestle you here. Here's what he's going to do. You want Lesnar? It's going to be at WrestleMania. Wow, really, really uh, laying down the gauntlet. Yep. And Roman, Roman hems and haws because, like, oh, I could, I could win the Rumble and it could be a title match. And then he, he agrees. Boy, I wonder if it'll be better than the WrestleMania match they had last year. Yeah, so it's uh, Reigns-Lesnar 2 at WrestleMania. Then we get right right into a match. I mean, you can't say right into a match after 10 minutes of Roman. Right into a match. <laughs> Literally 10 minutes. We've been like, ah, oh, should I? They go to commercial. They come back. He's like, ah, oh, I don't. Oh, I guess. I mean, it's uh, all right. So Chad Gable and Jason Jordan. Versus Kenny and Finn Balor. And uh, Chad Gable's going to pick up a win here. What? Yeah. And he's going to pin the Intercontinental Champion Finn Balor. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Finn's going to I be... saw this coming. Hmm. He's going to pin the Intercontinental Champion Finn Balor's friend... Kenny Omega. Oh, Kenny might not even be happy about this. Oh. Uh, hmm. Let's see what happens here if I uh, just do one of these guys. There you go. Thanks, Kenny. I knew you were good, brother. So American Alpha gets a big win. And then afterwards they celebrate. But the uh, losers of said match are not too happy. 
So they not Jason Ayers. Jason Jordan. Who They're, the fuck is Jason Ayers? I think a ref, maybe. But they, they beat up American Alpha after the match. For having the the cojones to pin Kenny Omega. Well, you have them beating up Finn and Omega. <laughs> oh no. American Alpha. What have you done? <laughs> Yeah. We're just, we're so excited and we can't stop beating them up. <laughs> the ref's like, please stop. They just keep hitting Grand Altitude again and again and again. <laughs> we can't stop. Charlotte's going to come out with a microphone. Woo! And... She cuts a promo on Asuka, saying how she, she wants the uh, title match that was promised to her. Nick, I think what you mean to say is Charlotte wants the title match that was promised to her. You need more awkward laughing in there in order to really, like, <laughs> get the, the Charlotte five... Yeah. Asuka is genetically inferior to the queen of the WWE, which is me, Charlotte. Woo! Speaking of bland people, we're going backstage. <laughs> I just, I, lo- I love talking like Charlotte. <laughs> Bray Wyatt and Sheamus are backstage and they're fighting. Oh my god. And Wyatt gets the upper hand. And I know a lot a lot of angles in a row here. We'll make it up to you. Paul Heyman breaks him up. By himself? <laughs> well, he threatens to fire them if they don't stop and okay, they right. want their job. <laughs> also, he probably has a team of security there. All right. NXT security force. And he tells them that if they want to if they want to have a war so much, they could go find troops. Because each of them are going to be the captains for Raw's Survivor Series match. Oh my goodness. Team Bray Wyatt versus Team Sheamus. Nope. Yep. And we're only doing one. Because uh, I don't know if you, everyone who watches some other brand. <laughs> well, no, everyone who watches this might not know, but I have certain feelings about Survivor Series matches caused by watching far too many Survivor Series matches. They we're suck. Also, we're also not doing Raw versus SmackDown because that was a big waste of time. Yeah, because the winner got <laughs> nothing. <laughs> oh. Will's hurt. Sorry, guys. Will's hurt. We'll get Tyler Breeze up in there. I'm sure Tyler Breeze can have a good match with Ricochet. It's Tyler. Look, everyone. It's Rick. Oh, Shay. Ricochet wins. What? Yeah, crazy, I know. Should probably make this an all-out match. These two can go. Where are you? Yeah, do do a do a flashy high spot batch. See what happens. It's right in the middle, right at the end of hour one. Wake the crowd up after twenty five <laughs> minutes of talking. Hey, Raw has the cruiser weights. No, 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 it doesn't. Raw not in this universe. The cruiser. <laughs> Wow, she only got it for two... That is a real, actual, what happened thing. Two defenses. No, t- you, she defended it twice. That's already two more than... <laughs> that is true. Reigns. I don't know what you're talking about. I just want to make sure that this would be legitimate, what I'm about to do. Yeah, 
New champion celebration. Asuka's having a party. Sasha comes out. Doesn't What's like an Asuka party. party like? Uh, Xbox? Like a LAN party? Oh, okay. And then Sasha comes out and hits I, Asuka with the Xbox. I, I feel like Asuka probably plays PlayStation, but all right. I thought she was, uh, wasn't she sponsored by Xbox in Japan? No idea. I think, I, I'm going to look that up, but not right now. I'm, we're doing a show now. Why, why would Xbox be wasting money sponsoring Stop yourself stuff there. in Japan? <laughs> why would Xbox waste money? We, I'm just saying, they sold like 50 Xboxes in Japan. And at least five of them were because of Asuka. <laughs> uh, so, we're going to have a singles match. Don't get too excited for this singles match here. No, sorry, I was looking this up. She she was sponsored by Microsoft and Xbox. Yeah. I know my Kana. Well, in that case, I hope she's all right, because Xbox Ones are fucking heavy. Yeah, and she got crowned with one. Yeah. At least it didn't explode when it unplugged, like Dean Ambrose's yeah. TV. If, if it was Xbox One S, like, she might have survived. No, it was actually the original Xbox, one of the huge oh, shit. bulky ones. Yeah. Those things, like... Yeah, those are like 40 pounds. Yeah. Also, <laughs> what a weird thing that would be to put on TV. Kind of going over Enzo. Also, holy shit, this match. <laughs> when, uh... I didn't realize we were booking superstars over here. Victor and Heath Slater attack Enzo. Oh, no. And Angry Rusev is coming out. Yelling, bad match, bad match. <laughs> you know what? We're just going to do this. So Rusev comes out. And he takes out Heath Slater, Connor, Victor, and Curtis Axel. He's so mad. <clears throat> oh, he's not joining forces with Enzo and Big Cass. He's not coming out and going, How are you doing? <laughs> How you do? How you do? Kills everyone. I heard it was recently American Thanksgiving. I heard you eat mashed potatoes. How are you doing? <laughs> Stuffing. How are you doing? All right. Yep. You're really you're 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 doing it. That's that is. That's that's the joke. We're really gonna have a three v three match. It's Chris Jericho. Uh, hold on, hold on. I booked the 3v3 matches. What is this? And his new apprentice, Dolph Ziggler. I feel like you need to have some, like, explanation of that before you book this match. Because last time we saw them, it was just Chris Jericho being like, fuck you, Dolph, you piece of shit. Fuck. <laughs> you fucking loser. Why don't you go kill yourself? And now they're just, like, teaming in a match. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought I, I, thought I had that already. There you no. Go. All right. Then we'll hold off on that as uh, Chris Jericho is backstage. I mean, you can still have that match. I'm just saying you should at least have a promo and where Dolph's like, you're right, Chris. Dolph. I, I am a big piece of shit. Dolph is going to come to Chris and just be like, come on, man. Just uh, don't help me out, man. <laughs> Dolph begs Chris Jericho for help. Like, oh, I've been a real big slide. I, need, I just need some, just need someone there to watch my back. Watch my back while I go out. And I face the Miz. And we'll do a fantastic Dolph Ziggler versus the Miz match. Boy, a dream match. I wish I could watch this. You, you will never expect what happens next. 
Man, good thing we uh, we play TEW so we can do all this fantasy booking. The Miz wins through chicanery. <laughs> oh my god! When Dolph Ziggler is attacked by Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho comes out and rings the bell. Really I know. The, the Miz distracts the ref and Dolph Ziggler's uh, manager, Chris Jericho, slaps him or something. He should probably hit him with a wrestling move, but whatever. <laughs> this is going to be a mistake, but... Eh. Eh. Why not? I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> you really shouldn't. The main event, Rusev and Bray Wyatt, Seth Rollins and Sheamus. Mmm. Sixteen minutes. When Sheamus gets the win. Actually, no. Sorry, Seth. Seth gets the win. So Seth and Rusev spend the entire match apart from each other. Rusev just beating the shit out of Sheamus, but Seth never getting in there when he's in there. Rusev finally gets Seth in the ring. And just murders him and ends up oh, getting okay. DQ'd. I was wondering where you were going with this. So a rage DQ finish. And then after the match, he puts him through the barricade. Like a running... Oh, that old chestnut. Yep. Did you see the one uh, from the SmackDown before Survivor Series? Where Nia Jax was going to do it to Becky Lynch. And Becky Lynch moves like five minutes before <laughs> she gets there. And Nia Jax just runs through it anyway. I mean, that, she can't that, stop. That good... uh, she can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop this train we're on. All right. 122 minutes. I need... Oh, Jack Swagger. Holy Ray. Just wrestled Roman Reigns at the pay-per-view. Not even on the show. Well, he lost Roman. Oh, uh, did he beat Roman? No, he lost. He did? Oh, right. I was going to do... That would have been crazy. <laughs> the J-Squad versus the Bully Club. The Bully Boys. The Bully Club of... Bully Ray, Simon Gotch, and Aiden English. <laughs> what a shitty team. Which one? <laughs> I mean, specifically the second one, but yeah. And we'll give a we'll give a new soul win here. Why not? All right, I'm gonna run this show. It's gonna be bad, and then Swarley's gonna have a better show next episode. And you'll you'll somehow get like two A's for something, and then it'll be fine. Rusev's real hot right now, so that end there might be good. This was fine. Yeah, this is this could have gone on the show at, instead of Connor over. Yeah. See a yeah. a plus. Roman Reigns did a masterful job of improvising interactions with the crowd. Have Have I ever mentioned how like in how in what world it, it makes me that Roman Reigns is fucking like stone like, cold, like a god in this game? Yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, this didn't do too bad. I was gonna say this is better than I thought I was gonna do. Yeah, because you you've done like nothing with American Alpha, just like real life. Yeah, but they came out and they got a, a big win, and that's all you need sometimes. Sometimes. Jason Jordan was underwhelming. He just got beat up. Couldn't sell enough. And Chad Gable he just, underperformed. He just stood there and was like, "Stop hitting me." Ow. Speaking of <laughs> genetically superior, Charlotte does worse than that. Uh, eh. Ric Flair helped at least. He's still with Charlotte. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Okay. That's, I think, I feel like that's news to us. No, I knew that. I oh, okay. I haven't done anything to break him up yet. 
Uh, yep, Bray underperformed. Because he's a big fat piece of shit. Yep. Bray continues to underperform while Paul Heyman comes out and it's like, hey, I need a Survivor Series match and you two hate each other, so fuck it. So here we go. We're doing it. <laughs> yeah, Ricochet and Tyler Breeze. Randomly on Raw. It's a lot of C's. I don't know. And here's Asuka getting murdered with an Xbox. Yeah, and then like choked is this, out with is, a is cord. Is Sasha a heel now? Is this a heel turn? No. No? They just, they don't like each other. Okay. Maybe she didn't attack her. Maybe she just threw the Xbox out of the ring. And Asuka was like, that's expensive. Stop. This also got a C. I mean, that's a real nice grade. Yep. For this fucking match. <laughs> Social wasteland. Here we I mean, go. Like, chugga you, chugga you, choo choo. Like you got a guy that's a D plus and a guy that's a C minus, so you should be a real happy with a C. I am. Are you kidding me? I expected yeah. this to get a D. Should. What the fuck? I rated this all on Rusev. Oh, because he's just still though. Murder still. Rusev murdering jobbers. Still. Ruru crush. Crowd loved it, by the way. It's like yeah, yeah kill I him again. Tell. <laughs> and then you follow up that hot angle with Dolph Ziggler being like, hey man, can you help me out? Come on. Come on, man. Please. Chris is like, sure. And he like, he's, he puts his hand on Dolph's shoulder, but like Dolph's back, like like Dolph can't see, but Chris is like winking to the camera. Like, yeah. I think I said that all wrong, but you get it. You get what, you get where I'm going with this. Camera swings around and he's got his, uh, He's fingers got his crossed, fingers crossed yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. And then he, oh, he still, he hit him. Come on. Look at this. This Jericho. And, uh, yeah, Dolph loses to the Miz. You know, B minus. Mm -hmm. as, as is tradition. Yep. Yep. I actually feel like this would be a strong, like, finish of Raw. With, like, if you want to have a non-decisive match, this is a good way of doing it. Like, having your big, strong baby face go into a rage and murdering someone. Oh, Skiff would be so mad that it took 16 minutes, though. But like I said, they were like, apart from each just... other the whole time. Like, I mean, if he hates him that much, why is he standing on the apron? Just go over there and fucking beat him I like it. So, here's the thing. He, went, he goes in, and he's going to wrestle Seth, like, clean. And they start wrestling and doing things, and Rusev gets the upper hand, and Seth uses a thumb to the eye or something, like something cheap. And Rusev is just like, fuck it! And attacks him. All right, fine. There, there are legitimate ways that you could have Rusev be like, I'm going to do this like a good guy, and then Seth do like a kick to the groin or something, and Rusev mm. be like, oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> yep. This came across well. Show did well. B plus, yeah, sure. Good job. Building to Survivor Series. We got one match set for WrestleMania. Building for Survivor Series. I don't think I set any matches for Survivor Series. Yeah, you set oh, up the, you, the two team captains. Sheamus, yeah. 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 The Sheamus squad and the Bray boys. Bray's bullies versus <laughs> Seamus's what was it? Seamus's shillelies? <laughs> yeah, Seamus's shillelies. Nailed it. Alright, we will see you next time. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.